movie Troy opens Friday, but a former man of Troy is already getting two thumbs up reviews. Carson Palmer hopes to be Achilles-like as opposed to Achilles-like. The former number one pick is now the marquee man for the Bengals. Palmer replaces John Kitna, last season's NFL Comeback Player of the Year winner. Kitna's reward, a front row seat to watch what Cincinnati fans hope is an epic. Bob Holtzman has your ticket. For the past 13 months, Carson Palmer has felt more like a graduate student than a professional football player. In fact, Palmer hasn't taken a single regular season snap. What he has done is study, study, study. I watched some Donovan McNabb, some Cole Pepper, um, watched a lot of the different, a lot of the guys around the league that have been successful the last couple of years, and tried to take little bits and pieces from their games. And I watched a lot of Peyton's play action stuff, and. Just, just to learn some stuff, you know, I was bored. We spent a lot of time uh, in the classroom and out on the field so far, and it was good to get out here in a seven-on-seven seven and team atmosphere to, to see if what you were doing was going in the right direction, and yeah, I was really pleased. Coach said Peasy got him going. Like a little energizer bunny. I don't think Carson gets a break. Carson here 24-7 was MP. He needs to be good right away. I mean, that's, that's what we're doing. He needs to play good right away, and he will. The Bengals expect that after giving Palmer one year to hit the books, he should spend the next decade or so hitting open receivers. There comes a certain point where you've kind of learned everything you can on paper and on the, on the, on the, in the meeting room, and then there's that point where you have to go do it, and that's where he's at right now, having to go do it. He's been through a season to see what goes on and how it's done, and uh, he doesn't have to be in awe with any of it. You get to go in and have a year of, of knowing what the NFL is like and knowing what your offense is like and knowing what NFL defenses are like. Um, you get that underneath your belt to go in and, and you're one step ahead of yourself. By nature, Palmer is a laid-back guy. Last season as a backup, he made a point out of keeping quiet and deflecting attention. Head coach Marvin Lewis has already told Palmer this season that must change. He knows he's, his position is the, the position of leadership on his football team. He knows responsibility goes along with that. He has to keep it within the frame of his personality. You can't be false. You can't be phony. You have to be yourself, but yet you also have to let the other 10 guys in the huddle know you're in command and, and you're running the show. It's all part of the education of Carson Palmer, which will soon shift from the classroom to a stadium near you. All I can worry about and all I'm concerned about is, is just learning this game right now and, and uh, taking what I learned last year and, and putting it into to this year's game. It's scary because, you know, he's just a prototypical uh, you know, quarterback. When you talk about you know, being 6'5", 6'6", you know, 230, 240 pounds and having a strong arm and, and that type of, um, you know, rep behind him. So uh, I'm excited. All I'm doing is just running my route and catching. And it's just everything on the money. Slants, outs, deep balls, you name it, it's there. So he's ready to go. Uh, <laughs> we'll find out when he gets a chance to do it live. They are